firefighter Alex Holland here at Station 45 on A Division, and today I will be running you down just a quick, easy lunch. Um, it's going to be a Thai chicken salad. It is fast, efficient, healthy. Make sure that our crews get all the phytonutrients and ingredients that we need so that we can perform at our best. And I am Wendy Robinson. I'm the executive director of the San Diego Fire Rescue Foundation, and I am here today to, I guess, be the sous chef. Uh, so just to break down, just simple ingredients, got a lot of different vegetables. Protein is going to be chicken. Uh, then our salad is going to consist of red and green cabbage. We have some carrots, tricolor quinoa, cherry tomatoes, peppers, avocados, mango, spinach, green onion, cilantro, and then just some strawberries on the side. I love all the colors. Like it's obviously a very nutritious, balanced yes. meal. Yes. Uh, very nutritious. The I'll call it the unhealthy side of things would be the dressing. If people consider peanut butter to be unhealthy, but the base is peanut butter mixed with honey, garlic, sesame oil, rice vinegar, and olive oil. So first come, uh, we'll go ahead and just wash everything. All right. Make sure everything's nice and clean. And then we'll start chopping. Okay. Can we bring all this over? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So what's a favorite at this station? I hear that, you know, like some stations are kind of known for certain things. Here at 45s, we're, we're open to food. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no real favorite on every division. There's someone who really enjoys cooking. And I mean, we got people who make ramen noodles, people who are really good at poached eggs, people who make homemade uh, biscuits, oh. biscuits and gravy, salads, soups, you name it, we can make it. All right, what are we doing next? I got my onion. So I'll get you a bowl here, All right. and then we'll just grate the carrot. Okay. And then we'll chop the peppers, we'll get the quinoa going, and then from there we can go ahead and start prepping the chicken. All right. I've been here at 45's for about eight months on mm -hmm. and off. I was here at Temp Perm. I uh, just recently got here permanent in March. So very fortunate. We stay busy. Um, we're one of the busier stations here. Mission Valley is a very large district and we do respond to the entire county as we're part of the actual hazmat team. So we have our, our hands full each day. And who decides, I know like, you know, every station kind of has someone who cooks does it rotate does it you know like in, in your case i'm assuming you like to cook so they're kind of nominating you so traditionally if you're at a double house uh the two firefighters the backseaters are the ones that are actually doing the cooking mm -hmm. and at a single house still the backseaters um but the double the double house life is a little bit different the truck we tend to do more of the cooking station maintenance taking care of everything around the station. We do run medical aids as well, but the engine or the pump is the one that takes care of a majority of the actual medical aids. So they're usually the first to get called out. Yes, so that's why. Okay. And then just let's clarify real quickly. When you go to the grocery store mm -hmm. at the beginning of every shift, mm -hmm. um, talk to me about who's, who's paying for all of that. Cause that's kind of a big misconception. So it is a large misconception. Um, we pay for our own meals. We pay out of our own pocket. Uh, traditionally, historically, San Diego, we have always stuck to $10 per person. Mm -hmm. And here at Station 45, we still maintain that historic tradition of $10. So the meals that we make, we manage to feed nine people with uh, $90. And that's for the day, so that's lunch and dinner? Correct. Okay. I am a certified sommelier. I got this in my first career, um, working in hotels, working in restaurants. I lived abroad in Argentina. And from there, had a lot of experience working with chefs. I was never actually a chef myself, but I got to be right there with the head chef, with the sous chefs, learning different techniques, learning just different ways, combinations, getting flavors going together. From there, the rest is the rest is cake. I like eating, I like working out. So food is very important to me. 
So real quick, you, you mentioned a double house. So just explain what uh, the difference is between a double house and a single house. Of course, so a double house is going to have a fire engine and a fire truck. Uh, biggest difference, a lot of people confuse the two. A fire engine is actually gonna be the one that has water and a fire truck is going to be the apparatus that has the big ladder on top. Um, we got a call. All right. So we got to get going. Um, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. We'll keep working. Over here cooking quinoa. Toasting the quinoa first though. So you just got back from being gone for an hour on a call. Was that typical? Uh, this call we actually had to go to the hospital, so not your typical, but it is very common. And then you gotta try and remember where you left off. Correct. And what happens, like you're making the quinoa right now. So what happens if you start the quinoa and you get a call? Like, do you just turn it off and go? Yes. Uh, we never leave anything on fire or on the burners. Uh -huh. uh, luckily with quinoa, it is similar to rice. So start it, get it boiling, and then we can just turn it off and hopefully it finishes cooking. And are you both on the truck today? We're pumping today. So they are the ones on the pump. Uh, on the pump, they can always come in, help with food prep, essentially be in the position where you are, mm -hmm. being the truck sous chef. So then we're just gonna double check on our quinoa here. Make sure- How long does that take? Doing. It's about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. You can see a little bit of extra produce that we can use and roll into next day's meals or whatever you choose. Maybe add into dinner. And and when you go to the grocery store, you buy for lunch and dinner. So what's what's on the menu tonight for dinner? Uh, for dinner, that is correct. Yeah, we shop for both meals. Um, for dinner, we're going to be doing a Mississippi roast. So pretty much chuck roast, sear it, season it, put it in the oven for about anywhere from four to six hours. Uh, great meal to prepare here in the stations because as you can see, we get calls, <laughs> we run out, we're gone, we come back, that's a meal that kind of set it and forget it. How come it takes four crew members to go to the grocery store? We travel as a team. Mm -hmm. Two in, two out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, just I, in case we get a call while we're at the store, that we, we're already all there together, that way we're not having to respond back to the station, pick up people and then go on a call. Since we're all there together, we can just go straight to the call. So basically, it's, it's time that, efficiency. Yeah, it's so going to. We're all together. And you're going to respond to a ready. call. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. So what's going into the dressing? Uh, so our dressing is going to be olive oil, peanut butter, rice vinegar, sesame oil, garlic, and honey. Look at that dressing. Oh, that's good. And then will the, is the quinoa on the side or is it going to go in the salad? Uh, so I'll keep it on the side, but essentially you kind of just build 
kind of like a power bowl. That's mm -hmm. what we call a lot of our meals. Um, you can put quinoa on the bottom, then you put your veggies on top, mix it all together. Once the chicken's done, the chicken will go right on top. So from here, salad's all taken care of. You can set this aside. So now Avocados, it's just peanuts, the assembly. Toppers, and then chicken. So chicken uh, we'll chop up briefly here. Just gonna make sure that our quinoa is doing good here. Has a couple more minutes. And then once it's done, I'll just turn the heat off. Finish chopping this up. Chicken will be right there, ready to go. Grab a bowl, get a plate, and we're good to go. Nice. So one of the things I notice is that the crews always eat together. Mm -hmm. What do you think the importance of that is? It's all about bonding. Um, we are, the best way to put it, we really are a family. We're here 24 hours with whether it's four people or eight people. And it's time for us to get together. Um, we'll play cards. Uh, we'll talk about our days, talk about life, whatever it may be. So, I mean, that's the one thing that is overlooked in the fire service. We live together. About one third of our life is spent in the fire station. Mm -hmm. We trust each other. And that's just a very easy way to gain trust. Sit down, share a meal. So, that's I love that. I love doing. I love sharing meals. They love eating. It's like it's a win-win. Exactly. So nu nutrition is obviously very important to the firefighters. So yes, ma'am. Why is that? The best way that I can explain it, we are performance athletes and we need to be at our highest performance cap capabilities. There are days, yes, I will say that, you know, we'll get a burrito. We'll eat whatever it may be that's a little bit heavier than your typical salad, sandwich, you name it. Mm -hmm. I personally love those meals. I'm not, I'm not saying anything <laughs> bad about that. It's all about balance. But exactly. Um, I was just about to say it's about balance. It's about understanding that we as athletes, firefighters need to be able to perform at the highest level possible. We are essentially at that same level. We may not be doing wind sprints or sprinting to catch a ball, not jumping as high as possible, but when the city calls, we need to be ready, no matter what. So by having colors, by having nutrients, by taking care of our protein, watching our fat content, uh, not feeding ourselves with just ultra processed food, processed food, whatever you want to call it, it is very important that we're able to perform. We're here to serve the city. We need to take care of ourselves so we can take care of the city. Just like to say thank you for uh, joining me in this little cooking process. I'm going to go ahead and build you a little plate here, just kind of the chef's creation idea, I guess you can say. And you did a, a tricolored quinoa. Tricolored quinoa. Put our salad on top. And that dressing is amazing. And some chicken. And go ahead and just top it off. With a couple little peanuts. Hope you all enjoy. Uh, I gotta call Chow and get the rest of the crew down here so we can have lunch. Chow, 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 chow's on, chow.